all right so in this video we are going to talk about the third factor of production we made mention of land and labor and we have look at what those things stand for and then the third one is capital capital which is also a major factor of production what do we mean by capital in common sense we say that capital is just a stock of wealth capital is a stock a stock of wealth so you need to know that it's a stock of wealth that is used in the production of goods and services a stock of wealth that is used in the production of goods and then services and then we can also say that capital refers to as machinery or tools any builders humans use to produce goods and services so they refer to machinery so when you enter into any factory any machine at all that you see there uh, we classify it as a um, uh, capital capital it can also be tools that are associated with the machine it can also be the building the building that we see when the time we enter into a production plant we call it a capital then all those things help in the production of goods and services so capital is any resource that is having a monetary value or that can also generate monetary value for the firm so we can also say that capital consists of all these goods existing at the present time which can be used in any way so as to satisfy what want during the subsequent years so this is what J.R. Hicks defined capital to be. He says that those goods that are present today, that can be used to generate money or to satisfy human wants in the future. So materials, they are all capital. They all fall under capital. Then some common examples of capital include hammers, money, forklift, conveyor belts, computers, delivery vans, vehicles, they all fall under capital please you need to know that in economics capital is different from money capital is different from money money is anything that is acceptable uh, for the payment of goods and services or for the exchange of goods and services that is where money ends capital goes beyond that capital is anything at all that is having a monetary value which means that it can be converted to money and that same thing can contribute to the production of goods and services so machine is a capital but we can't say that machine is money because machine can be used to produce goods money alone without using it to purchase anything cannot be used in the production of goods and services so let us take note of that let's look at some of the characteristics that we have with regards to money uh, capital sorry so when we are talking about capital we say that it can be fixed or current and then uh, fixed capital uh, capital that do not really change their form in the short run so when we are talking about fixed capital building is a fixed capital where building is situated for so many years it will be there the only thing that will affect it has to do with depreciation. It will just go under depreciation. Either than that, it still remain fixed and positioned at wherever it is placed. But when we are talking about other capital like materials which are used in the production process, when we purchase, let's say, 40,000 units of material, we use them today and tomorrow we'll bring some. So we see that the current uh, capital will change their form within the production process they go out and come in they go out and come in but the fixed capital remains the same over a long period of time except depreciation that will reduce its performance then capital is transferable it can be transferred from one place to another some part of it which even with building someone will say how can you transfer building the same building can be built somewhere and then ownership of transfer can be made so reward for capital is also interest uh, in, in whenever you send your capital you convert it into money and you send it to the bank 
they are going to pay interest on it for a period of time. So you earn interest on uh, capital. Then it depreciates over time. Its value reduced. Depreciation here is talking about the reduction in the value of the asset. So the capital, if it is machine, you can see that with time, the machine cannot perform as it used to perform anymore. If it is building, you can see that for a long period of time, uh, some part will crack, you need to paint it, you need to maintain it. It's called depreciation, the value reduced. Then geographically and occupationally mobile, it can be moved from one location to another. And occupationally mobile means that the capital can be put to different, different, different economic activities. Then capital is a man-made factor. It is made by man. So one of the characteristics of capital is that it is made by man. It is a man that made that factor of production. Then capital can be stored. It can be stored over a period of time. Well, let's continue to look at the importance of labor. The importance of capital. Now, when we are talking about capital, we say that it also contributes to economic growth and all this production process in general contribute to economic growth. So all the factors that fall under production, they, are, they all contribute to economic growth. So they also help in the production of goods and services. It increases productivity. Productivity here is talking about the output per man hour, what labor is able to produce within a given period of time. So with the presence of capital, and which in this case has to do with machines, the labor can perform more as compared to a type of labor that is not assisted by machine. So these machines have to make work easier. So where there are machines and the labor has an idea of how the machine is used, its productivity increases. It also creates employment because the machines need the assistance of human. So it's human being that operates these machines to help the production process move. It is also essential for production. Without capital, production can never take place. It provides raw materials. So once again, we say that the materials that we use in the production process, they all we put all of them together and classify them under capital. So when we are looking at the factor of production that will assist in the provisions of raw material, we associate it with capital. Then it also supports economic growth. It helps in the transformation of the economy from one point to another. So these are the importance of factors of production which we refer to it as capital. Thank you.